I've been a bit, I have a bit of a pessimistic view, I guess. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm normally like that. And um, because before this, my interaction with an AI use case that's coming to mind, so I might be missing something, was like basically the um, forms of like Google Translate, essentially, or like the translation technology from a few years ago. And I remember I made the decision a few years ago because I learned uh, Urdu and then I was, I'm in the process of, of learning Arabic, but I made the decision that I'm only going to learn a language if it's like for the deen, like Arabic or like a cultural thing, like your mother tongue or associated, because otherwise you can see where the translation technology is going. There's, there's no real material benefit to trying to become a language guy just for translating. And I, I saw a post, some, um, a group of language translators complaining about how AI is taking, um, their pay is being cut down because they just get hired for editing stuff that's already been translated by AI and stuff. <laughs> but then, <laughs> yeah, so so then um, this whole thing about the chat GPT thing came up and I'm thinking it's shortened the timescales between like, say before, if you needed content writers and stuff like that, now essentially you've got so much output at your hands and it's a relatively good level. Um, everything's going to change. So like, and then even applying it to Muslims, how would you say it's going to change how we live or the reality for people living going forward? So, um, I mean, AI as a broad topic is a lot more than what we've seen recently with the, the, mm. the chat GP, was it G GTP or something like that? GPT, yeah. GPT, yeah. So, as I played around with that for a bit and I tried to, because I asked, him, asked this, this AI, Fatwa, like, is what describe what the all and all kind of stuff. And I, I saw that, yeah. My, but yeah, yeah. So it was interesting. Yeah. Um, I think it was, it was important to understand what it's actually doing. Because when you look at it, you think, oh, this thing understands what's happening, it understands fifth. But you need to understand what it's actually doing rather than. Mm. It, but back to the point, put that aside, that's another discussion. So yeah. um, I think AI as a broad topic is basically a tool. And all these tools that mankind makes are means to improve efficiency. If you look at mankind from the time of Adam to, to, this, to this day, all that we do as human beings is find more efficient ways of doing what we have done before. It could even be farming, it could be stitch work, it could be building, it could be anything, calculating. All we do as human beings is produce things and find better ways of doing the same thing. So I see AI as just being another tool, means to achieve, as in rather than, like you said, hiring a whole team of artists, I can just ask AI, give me a poem about Bitcoin and, and, and the Sharia, and it will give me a poem, mm. and it will save me time to think of one, or I'll just look at this poem, and maybe either use it, or maybe use it for more inspiration. Maybe it, maybe it can inspire me to, do this, to, to uh, go along with it to some degree, to write up something my own one. It, it's just, just a tool, just like Bitcoin. It's just a tool. Bitcoin is just a tool for commerce. Bitcoin is not mm. a groundbreaking um, change of reality. It doesn't, it doesn't you know, uh, cause quantum fusion of atoms. It's just a tool mm. to measure um, the exchange of goods. You know, I'm mm. give, I want to take goods and service of you. I want to give you something that you can use to exchange with someone else. It's just, just, it's just a tool. Gold served as a tool to store wealth. Silver served as a tool to do that. A horse served a tool for transportation. Um, now we have cars and trucks that serve as a better tool for transportation. You know, uh, these are all just tools to do certain things. Now, normally we get scared of these tools because those who we previously employed are no longer needed. And we get worried, oh, what am I going to do with now that my, um, my job is no longer needed? And that's everything. I mean, mm. don't think of, you know, there's, there's nothing in Islam which dictates that you must work at this job forever or you must be employable. If, mm. if a tool takes your job, find something else to do. That's, that is the whole point mm. of technology. Technology makes, it, it, takes, it takes away the mundane from you so that you can do something else. It basically repurposes. So as a, think of it this way. Society needs A, B, C, D done. Yeah? Normally, to get A done, I apply this guy. To get B done, I employ this guy. To get C done, I employ this guy. To get D done, I employ this guy. But now we have computers 
I can now actually get this guy and this guy just to do B because A is done by mm. some program. And now I can get this guy and this guy to now do D because C is done by some other, mm. you know, robot. So now I can actually do things more efficiently. And as time goes on, maybe I'll get all four guys just to do B because now A, C, and D is now done by... You know what I'm saying? I can now mm. allocate resources more efficiently. And that's the whole point. Even, even myself, I remember when I first graduated from Medina Uni, there's so many things that you needed, needed to be, I needed an accountant, I needed this guy, I needed a media guy. I did, but now we have literally, bro, I'm talking to you on an iPhone. My phone, my, my computer's over here. My phone is right over here. My iPad is, is right over here. I don't need the whole studio anymore. I just need myself, my iPhone, and my computer. I actually saved the cost of a whole team of people just mm. of an iPhone now. So now that money I would have normally spent on people, I can now spend on something else. Mm. So it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. I now can spend my money and my time and resources doing something more beneficial than something else. So my only thing I would say is that those who were in those who are in a line of work that is quickly being replaced by AI, what you do is now repurpose yourself. This is mm. what I could do before. This is now being done by AI. What could I now do with my skills that I couldn't do that I that I, I either couldn't do before because I never had the time? Or I could do now better. You know what I'm saying? I need to repurpose myself. That's basically what we do as human beings. We just mm. need to, well, this is more important to me. <laughs> this is, I, I, and you know, Abdul Wahid, bro, Abdul Wahid. Yeah, yeah, um, that yeah. Medina Khan. So Khalid when this, 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 this chat GBT thing came up, I sent him some of the questions I asked him, for tower questions. I mean, he was laughing, saying, bro, there's no need for us anymore. We've got, we've got AI for muftis. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Ask, oh, yeah. I'm not even joking. I asked him questions about marriage. I asked questions about wudu, about salah. My mom was giving me the fatwa, man. I'm like, what? Yeah. But that's the, that's, that's the point. Now that we have a computer that can answer the simple questions, I can now focus my time on the more complex questions, which mm. AI hasn't caught up yet. And now I can not waste my time answering questions that, like, oh, brother, I did wudu and I didn't wipe hair. What do I do? Mm. Brother, ask the AI, man. The AI can answer that question for you. <laughs> you don't have to ask me yeah. anymore. I think... It's just the rate of technological change, I guess, that um, it's just shortened the time scale. Because if you, you could argue that even when someone, say you were living in Baghdad a thousand years ago and they had their grand library, you could argue that if someone was living within the vicinity of the library, they could technically have all the world's knowledge in a day, i.e. like they could index it and find whatever they needed in a day. So then you can say when um, the internet came along, that's narrowed down to maybe half an hour or an hour, right? But uh, so it's essentially, it's just narrowed the um, time scale. It's it's the same kind of concept. 